You guys ready to tackle a brand new problem? If you want to code along, make sure to hit the link in the description below. It's time to pop our daily dose of code. We fought and defeated easy problems. We've bested medium problems. And now we're finally stepping into the realm of hard problems. Will we be able to vanquish this four as well? Let's find out. Median of two sorted arrays. You're given two sorted arrays, ARR1 and ARR2. Find the median if they were both a single array and we've got to round the medium down. Also try to solve it in a time of O of n, where n is the sum of lengths of ARR1 and ARR2. Basically L1 plus L2 is n. So we can see how our input looks right here. Three is the length of ARR1, four is the length of ARR2. Now right here, we can see ARR1 and ARR2 in all their splendor. If they were both one array, they'd look like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the median is simply the center point, the middle value. Three elements are to the left of four and three elements are to the right of four. So four is the median. If we were to have an even number of elements, say this were our array, there are three elements to the left and three elements to the right. So what we do to find the median is take the average of the central two elements, that's four and five. In this case, the average would be 4.5 and we've got to round it down. So the answer would be four. Now that we know what medians are, we can attempt to start solving this problem. Head on to the link down below guys, try to code it out for yourselves. And once you're done, get back. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, what we can do to solve this problem is simply apply a merge sort algorithm. All we do is create a new array, initialize two pointers, one to the start of ARR1, one to the start of ARR2. Whichever element is less, we put that into the new array and move that pointer up by one. Then once we've constructed the new array, if its length is even, we return the average of the middle two elements. If its length is odd, simply return the middle element. That will work. That's perfect. That actually fits our requirement of solving it in a time of O of N. But let's try to one up that. Let's try to solve it without using an extra array and without having to traverse through the entire array. Instead, by doing only N by two steps. Now, theoretically, it's the same complexity. It's still O of N but technically it'll be done twice as fast. So if we were to have this array right here, how would we go about finding the median? What we'd have to do is initialize a start pointer to the beginning and move it up n by two times. In this case, n is seven, n by two is three and a half, which gets rounded down to three. So if we move start up thrice, that means there are now three elements behind start. So all we do is display the middle element. If instead it's an even number of elements, we take the average of that and the next element and simply display that result. How can we apply that same concept when that array is split? Instead of having seven continuous elements, we split it into four and three. In that case, how do we apply that same concept? Try to figure that out. And once you've got that, you've got the answer. We're going to assign two elements or two pointers, start one and start two which naturally point to the beginning of ARR1 and ARR2. Now, these are the least elements in their respective array. Which is the least element globally? Naturally, whichever is lower among start one and start two. In this case, start two is lower. So we assign mid to start two and we increase our step count by one. We have now taken one step. Following this, we move our start two up by one. This exact same process gets repeated a second time and a third time until the total number of steps is n by two. The moment that happens, it means we've covered n by two elements and we've reached the middle element. 
Now we're also going to keep a record of the previous middle element. In case our total number of elements is odd, we simply return our middle value. In case it's even, we return the average of the previous and current middle element. So if you have a look right here, steps initially zero, we haven't taken any steps. Mid and previous value zero initially. Start one and start two, you guessed it, zero. Now, while our total number of steps is less than half of the total number of elements, what we do is we assign previous to mid. Previous is going to keep a track of the previous middle element. First, we have to ensure that start one is less than L1 and start two is less than L2. This is where we're taking the extreme test cases into account. In case one pointer has reached the end of its respective array, we're simply going to have to increment the other point. Now, as long as this is true and start one is greater than start two, all we do is assign mid to start two and increment start two by one. Now, if the opposite is true, then we assign mid to start one and increment start one by one. Now, if both of these fail, what it means is either start one is equal to L1. That is to say, start one has reached the end of its array or start two has reached the end of its array. In case start two has reached the end of its array, we're going to increment start one. And if start one has reached the end of its array, we're going to increment start two. At the end of each iteration, we simply increment our step count. If the total number of elements is odd, we just return the mid value. And if it's even, we return the average of the middle two values. Now, all we've got to do is compile and test, or oh, let's just go with submit right away. It was a misclick. Let's pretend it was intentional. And we can see every single test case has been accepted. So guys, that's the result to the problem median of two sorted arrays. If you like the solution, you know what to do. It's up on your screen right here. Click those three buttons and leave your comments down below. It's been Vivek guys, and we'll see you all next time.